Hello everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do a sonic spin dash move. In other words, if you ever wanted to make a sonic spin dash move like in Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and 3, this tutorial is for you. And for anyone else who's interested in tutorials about um, characters with charge attacks or uh, charge moves, such as, um, say, um, any character that has a gun and a beam and the longer you charge it, the, the uh, bigger the beam gets when it releases. Um, I guess a good example of this would be Mega Man from Marvel's of Capcom. If you hold his uh, high punch button, he will start charging, and if you hold it longer, it'll turn. He'll start glowing, and if you let go, he'll shoot a bigger uh, blast from his Mega Buster. Now, to start off. I'm going to use Sonic as the example here. Uh, first, you need the basic Sonic sprites. I have his uh, crouching one, or hiding his uh, ball and his roll, and then his uh, spin charge. I couldn't figure out the proper uh, placement for these sprites, so I just did it the best of my ability. It looks strange. Um, so, first off, you have the animation sets. Um, I changed Kung Fu Man's basic crouch to Sonic's crouch. So when I press down, he's going to turn to Sonic, and he's going to be like that. So when I do the uh, actual spin dash, he'll just spin normal. It'll look right. So, I made it in three different uh, sets of animations two times. So there's spin dash speed one, which is speed three. Uh, this is what it looks like. Then speed two, which is a faster time, so it looks faster. And then speed three, which is the fastest one tick, and that's what that looks like. It looks faster in game. Um, then I have the ball rolling speed one, which is the same thing, matching it three for three. Then speed two, which is two for two. Then speed three, which is one for one, which is like super fast. So that's that's that. Uh, I have a habit of click the save button. It's just the way I am. Uh, next, you need the command. I simply copied and pasted the command here like that and changed some stuff up. But that's how I got this. Uh, since Kung Fu Man uses X Y, I'm gonna make this a Z. So spin dash in negative one state. Uh, spin dash change state to 700. He does not use 700, so I'm gonna make him use 700 for now. The trigger all is going to be command Z. The other trigger all is going to be hold down. So you have to hold down and you have to press Z to do the spin dash. Also, your character has to be in a crouch state. And when you press down normally, your character is in a crouch state. So all these three are checked, so you're good to go into this state. And control means you have control. So all four of these check, you are clear to go into state 700. Now let's go into state 700. The spin dash code. This tutorial is requested by Heavenly Abyssis. Ab Abyssis. Abby. Abyssis. Whatever. This guy. YouTube. Requested it. Tutorial. This is for you. Enjoy! Now, state 700. Type C because you're crouching. Move type A because it's an attack. Physics C because you're crouching. You're not doing anything. Juggle points, you can alter it here or you can alter it in the next state. There's, uh, I'm going to do this in a two-state fashion. You can also do it in a multiple uh, a multiple state fashion. Uh, this is this uh, two-state fashion over Kung Fu Man. Goblin, my other character that I made, he uses uh, four states for his. And I'll show this afterwards. So now, the kind of more complex way of doing it is... Actually, you know what? It's not complex. It's just two different uh, ways of doing it. In, in this case, Sonic is a character that will spin dash and he will go across the screen faster every time you press it. In his case, he's just changing velocity. He's not doing a whole different move set, you know? Goblin's case, he's doing a totally different different move set for every um for every different change. But for now we'll stick to Kung Fu Man, uh Sonic Spin Dash, and uh this is just various speeds and how to do it. So you have the, uh, the, the juggle and power you can add later. It doesn't really matter where that is. Control is zero because player does not have control. Animation 700. 700 is animation spin dash one, which is three. So it'll spin like this when you press Z. So from crouch and you press Z to come to state 700, you'll automatically start spinning. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So this is crouch, and then this is one press of Z. That's one Z alone, and he's spinning. Okay, so now uh, we're using variables to do this. Um, so 
before we start with this, all of this here, um, at the bottom of your CNS, you need to have this code, var set. It's a negative three um, code. And I have a note here that this var set is used to set the spin dash variable to zero. As soon as the screen fades in, round state equals zero, preparing it for the spin dash move. So um, this is going to set the variable 10, v equals 10, variable 10, to zero. When? It's going to be round state equals zero. If you check the Mugen docs, round state equals zero is when the screen fades in from the versus screen. So this is like instantaneously. Alternatively, um, since this only happens once in the fight, every time the player is not in state 700 or 710, which is the 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 charge up state for the uh, the spin dash and the attack state for the spin dash, it's automatically going to set the value back to zero. This will reset the value every time he's not doing a spin dash. So it's going to be zero um, throughout the battle until he does the spin dash, and if he gets hit or he finishes the attack, it'll reset to zero. This is used to keep the move from glitching out. Now, going on to 700, um, we have a var add. So first, you press Z and all these other, uh, all these prerequisites here, to put him in 700. So he's already spinning at this point. Now, if you press Z again, it's going to add one more value to variable 10. Time over. Shut up, you. So every time you press Z, more or less, right here, it's going to add one to variable 10. Now, how does this work is that based on the variable, Sonic will react differently. He'll spin faster, he'll go faster, or he'll do a different move. You know, it's all based on how many variables he has. Now, um, he's spinning at his basic speed here. Now, say when variable is variable 10, it has to be in parentheses just like this. When variable 10 is equal to 3, he's going to change animation to 701. 701 is him spinning at 2 uh, speed. So it's like faster. And then when variable 10 equals 5, he's going to be spinning at a much faster speed at uh, 1 tick per frame. So you see, based on the variable that he has, he's changing animation. And since there's no 2 or 4 or 6 or anything higher than that, it's just going to work on these, these two here. So if you push once, it'll play this. You push twice, it'll play this. You push three times, it'll play this. You push four times, it'll still play this. Push five or more times, it'll play this. So now Sonic is spinning and his variable is being built up as the player presses it. Also, keep in mind, um, persistent equals zero. If you have persistent equals one, Sonic's animation will freeze and it will not um, move when you actually do it. You know, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Persistent equals one for three presses. So. Here, take a look. This is one, two, and three. See? Sonic is not moving, mainly because his persistent is <coughs> equal to one. So change that to zero so it's not persistent. And this only happens one base one time basically. One time it hits three, it's gonna happen. It's never gonna stay like that over and over. And element one means element one of the animation, of course. So both will have persistent equals zero. So his animation keeps flowing as you press it. And then to change him from his spin dash into his attack, it's going to be a command not equal. Uh, this exclamation means not and equal, meaning he's not holding uh, down, which is the command automatically here in the um, command file. Uh, every character has this, as far as I know, unless they're like super, super custom made. But see, hold down. This is already here. Um, Kung Fu Man has it. I'm using it. So once the uh, characters finish pressing Z and changing up, charging up their variables, and they let go of down, Sonic is gonna change into state 710. State 710. I have a note here as well. The above state 700 is the charge up slash startup state. The actual state that controls how Sonic moves is a, as a spin ball. Spin ball is right here. So 710. Type. He's still crouching. Move type, he's still attacking. Physics, none, because I want to control how he moves completely. Juggle and power add, your your call if you want to have these here. I don't know, it's up to you. Control, no, we don't have control. Sprite priority is two, I'm leaving that. Animation, this is a bit complicated right here, but it's very important that you know how this works. Um, I'm basically nesting um, if-else cases into each other. No, hold on for a second.
Okay. Um, so basically, how this works is if else. So if this, if the first parameter is true, then it'll do something, or else it's going to do something else. So say if a variable ten is less than five, play animation seven eleven. Animation seven eleven is speed two. Time to whoosh. Okay, so this is if okay. If anime if variable ten is less than five, play the second spin dash. And this would normally be the or else part, but instead I'm using another if else, so it's nested. So if this is true, play that. Then I have or if this is true, if else a variable ten is greater than or equal to five. Be, see, here's the thing you have to know about this. Less than five means four, three, two, one, zero negative numbers. It does not include five. The, there, and the, the one here is greater than or equal to five, which means five, six, seven, eight, etc. So this is everything lower than five. We'll play animation seven, eleven. If variable ten is greater than five or equal to it, it's going to play animation seven, twelve. And this last number is the or else. Or else it's going to play 710, and 710 is the normal speed. So if the if the uh, variable uh, 10 is less than 5, it'll play second speed. If it's 5 or greater, it'll play the fastest speed. And if it's uh, if it's neither, it's going to play um, 710. Huh? Why is that like that? Hmm. I could probably add a code here to make this more complicated. Let me see. Um, yeah, uh, equals bracket three comma four. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this this will probably work much better actually. Okay, so if else variable ten is either uh, the bracket means array, so any number between the first and second. Since the three and four, there's nothing in between them, uh, technically. So. If variable 10 is equal to 3 or 4, play animation 211. If it's 5 or greater, play animation 212. If it's not thing, it's not if it's not either one of these two, it's going to play 710. And always make sure you close them with parentheses. You see how Fire Factory lights up this pink? That's that's the amazing thing about Fire Factory. It just tells you that you're only um, you're only um, talking about this code that this part here is left out and when you move it away it'll look okay but Mugen's not going to read it probably it's going to crash so you need another one to capture the whole if else code so once this is all captured together with these two uh, parentheses it works perfectly if you put an extra one it throws it off and you get this red squiggly so that's that now because Sonic is only doing a spin dash he's just moving from left to right so the first one will be Velset in fact, it's a series of vel sets, three vel sets for three different speeds. Variable 10, less than 3, meaning 0, 1, or 2. If it's 0, 1, or 2, variable 10 is 0, 1, or 2, he's going to be moving at speed x3. Simple. If variable 10 is 3 or 4, I can also, if you see if I do something like this, this would be a range between 3 to 10. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This would be a range for that, but I don't want that value. I just want 4. So, if var10 is between, if var10 is equal to 3 or 4, it's going to be uh, 8x for speed. If var10 is 5 or greater than 5, it's going to be 15x speed. Simple enough, right? So, based on the variable that you have, based on the numbers that you pressed up here, controls the speed here. And this velmol is just to slow him down. It doesn't work too well, surprisingly, but it slows him down in place. Maybe if I use that. It'll slow him out, so he'll move like this, then slowly come to a stop, like that. And then I have the hit states. All the hit states will trigger on a trigger all with variable 10, and the same exact uh, triggers here, except they'll all be trigger alls now. So, first hit def is trigger all variable 10 less than 3. This one. Slowest speed, um, time equals 0 is the same as um, uh, not anim time, or not time. But more or less, this uh, trigger here means that he will hit the opponent on the first collision box, the first red collision box that makes contact. So for Sonic, that's great because he's attacking at all times, so it's perfect for what he's doing. 
but you know you may want to use like a different thing if you want like animation element or whatever it's up to you it's standard hit that from here on um, next one is the same thing you copy the same um, trigger so var 10 is three or four it's gonna be the same thing and I have this one set up differently I add a player one state number 7 10, 15 and what this does is the first spin dash will hit them and he'll stop the second spin dash will he'll hit them and he'll bounce back and land on the ground which is a, a semi custom state that I have down there and the third one is var uh, variable 10 uh, 5 or greater than 5 uh, the trigger for this is time mod 5 equals 1 what this does is for every 5 ticks this move is gonna hit once or yeah just once so say the move itself is 50 ticks right here it's gonna hit um, how many fives are in 50 10 10 yes 10 it's gonna hit 10 times but since that's not really possible he'll hit like uh, four or five six times he won't get the full thing but uh, basically this mod code uh, uh, the percentage is a mod code mod number equals a one will basically um, tell you uh, make a make a move a multiple hit move you'll see what I mean and the change state from uh, after 50 ticks to go to crouching and the player will have control so after you spin dash he'll roll he'll stop he'll go back to crouching this is bounce back state which is pretty standard um, a move types A uh, type is A, physics is N, animation is still the ball uh, Vel set to move him back, gravity to bring him down, change state to put him to the ground and uh, you know landing state simple so let me show you how this works in game I'm not sure if you'll see it too well but uh, uh what's this okay so I see using this it probably crashed died parsing Okay, yeah. What I had before worked fine, so I'll just go back to that. What did I have before? Less than five? Oh, maybe the equal sign. Yeah, there. Anyways, the animation kind of doesn't matter, but it helps to make it flow well. So, down and 1C. See his speed? Very slow. That's 1C. Now here's 2Cs. Still slow, so we need three presses to go to the the uh, second option, which is here. Vel set equals eight. So one, two, three. See, he makes it almost all the way. One, two, three, four. Almost all the way again. Now we need five. So for the next and last attack, one, two, three, four, five. You probably can't see it too well, but he's spinning like super fast and out of control. And when I let go of down, he's gonna Ooh, multiple hits. So you see? So here's the first spin dash, basic one. Just like that. The second one, which has the custom state of player one bouncing back. So after three presses, he goes forward, he hits him, he goes to his custom state, which sends him up in the air with a gravity code that pulls him down, and a custom land state, which lands him on the ground. Pretty straightforward and simple, right? And then the last... Uh, variable is 5 or greater if you can hear me pressing it I am pressing it a lot and then let go and boom he's fast, he's furious, he's blue, he's kung fu sonic yeah but th these are not triggers you'd really use like in actual time but just examples of what you could use uh, the triggers you have to come up with will make it easier for you how do I, yeah yeah this is gonna be one messed up kung fu man Anyway, so that's basically how you do it. Um, so to recap in him, uh, you're going to have to... Where did I... Okay. Where did I put it? <laughs> okay, spin dash. So the spin dash will be... Your triggers that have to be true are you have to press Z, you have to be holding down, you have to be in a C state, which is crouching normally, and you have to have control. <clears throat> that's all you need. We'll go to state 700. Before we go to 700 now, we'll need a variable reset code. This is it's not like a technical code. It's just some triggers that make it reset by setting it back to zero. So the variable will set to zero at the beginning of the round and when the player is not in his a spin dash state. When he is in the spin dash state, this is completely negated and is not really counted for. Now going up to 700, 
Okay. Every time the player presses Z, the variable is added one. When the variable has three, it's going to change its animation to something faster. When the variable is uh, five, it's going to be much faster. And when you let go of down, he's going to go to the attack state. In the attack state, based on the um, the variable that you have, will decide his animation to play, and also decide his speed. If you have three or less, I mean, if you have less than three, it's going to play at this speed. If you have three or four, it's going to play at eight, and five or greater, it's going to be at fifteen. Don't worry about this; not important. And multiple hit deaths in the same state that are activated because of the trigger all. The trigger all tells them what they really need, and what they really need is the variable has to be less than three, three or four, or five and greater. Then this will change him back to crouch, and the bounce back is a, a simple generic uh, uh, going up, coming down move. Uh, Vel set to send him up, gravity send him down, change state to send him here. The pause set to keep him on the ground level, very important, and the change state again just to um, change him back to normal uh, state. Good. So that's Kung Fu Man. <clears throat> now I'll show you Goblin. Goblins is more difficult than uh, Sonic's. Sonic's, the difference is, Sonic's speed changes Ready, as, um, Go for every time he goes faster, he starts spinning faster. In Goblin's case, I have him flashing. So first is... Why is that doing that? Oh, this is why. The, the, don't worry about this. This is I coded him wrong, accidentally. That's why it's like that. So... This is the first one. It's like a yellow, orangey flash. Then the second one, which is like a reddish orange flash. Then the third one is a red flash. See, because he has no, because he has no like actual indication or or anything. I used a sound and him flashing just to show that he is doing something different than what he would do otherwise. So here's the B star of state. Uh, this is completely different from Kung Fu Man. I did this much earlier before, and I wasn't fully thinking when I did this. It just kind of came off the top of my head. And it's going to change animation. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Forget this. Do it the way I did with Kung Fu Man. But anyways, um, instead of the player pushing a button to activate the variable change, uh, the longer you hold Y, in this case, right here, the longer you hold Y, the longer he's going to stay in animation 210. Now, the longer he stays in animation, I mean 211, the longer he stays in animation 211, the time will rise. When the time hits 30, this variable will become 1. So the variable is 0 before and 1 after it flashes. All this happens on 30. So when it flashes and plays a sound, you know it's um, the variable's 1. When the variable's already 1 and the time goes to 100, it's gonna, uh, you're going to be a variable, the variable's going to equal 2, and he'll flash a different color. All of this triggers at 100, and then the last one is the same thing, except this time the trigger is instead of just uh, time being 200 ticks, you also need to have a one full gauge of power to change to the third uh, variable. Well, it's all the same variable, it's just one, two, th zero, one, two, three, four. No, zero, one, two, three, whoops. So, after you do these little um, cosmetic things here to show that the character is in a different variable state you have the change states. If variable equals 0, you change to this state. Variable equals 1, you change to this state. Variable equals 2, you change to this state. And variable equals 3, with a power gauge of 1000 or more, change to that state. And then each state has its own little uh, thing to it. Like this is the B, no charge. I'll show you what that looks like quickly. Okay, so this is no charge. Just smashes. Hulk smash. And if I'm correct, two hits. Okay, so that's straightforward hit death right there. Earth chick, explod, play sound, nothing else. Light charge. The light charge is different. What he does is he'll smash the ground and a big fire wave will come out and the fire can attack, of course. So what's that gonna be? That's gonna be a um what's that? Okay, it's gonna be a hit death for the actual club itself and a helper for the eruption. That's how I did it. See, that's the actual attack, and then boom! That's the helper being blarg. Okay, now for the medium charge, B. Okay, time has passed 100. I'll 
this is B and he more or less does the hit from the club again with an explod and the helper eruption and eruption eruption and eruption at different times to make it appear like whoosh 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 and then number C uh, if you hold it long enough 200 ticks I'll put the bug on and you can look down here at the time okay that's not it so look at the time as soon as it reaches 200 I can let go and he'll do the super as long as I have a gauge so he comes down and shaka laka 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 isn't that pretty and all that is is more or less the same thing after image super pause gravity all that stuff that you would know otherwise um, so yeah that's more or less how you do a uh, a charge variable not really charge variable that's more or less how you do a charge attack in the form of uh, command pressing or waiting for time and more or less it's the basics to variables and if you don't know what a variable is I should have explained this before but think of a variable as many pockets and in Mugen's case you're allowed up to 59 pockets except 59 I think is reserved for AI or something so 58 pockets and in these pockets you can store any amount of um, numbers in them you know so you can store say a hundred in pocket one and fifty in pocket two and then say you want to uh, do a damage thing like this you can like a variable uh, variable pocket one and the damage for this say I said 101 right so then the damage is gonna be 100 because variable one is 100 so that's how you recall the actual uh, things so after you set a, a number to variable, you give it a value. That value represents that um, variable. So you can call it anywhere. Like see, Vel said here. No, that's not a good example. Okay, yeah, it is actually. Uh, var variable 10. If variable 10 is less than 3, which could be 0, 1, or 2, then it's going to make him move at a certain speed, you know? And if it's not if it's not like three or if it's higher than five, it's gonna move at a much faster speed. So just think of um, variables as a pocket that holds a value that you can recall over and over for various uses throughout coding. Well, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to request tutorials. I am, I enjoy making them, if I know them that is. And um, this message is brought to you by Nissan Cup Noodles. You won't realize how much you need those things until you go to college and life and just learn that you live on noodles. So thank you for watching. Yeah.